Hi guys. Welcome to Ciudad Caserta. Hi Bob. Hi Bob. So good morning everybody. Good morning everybody. That's the pronto. I would say this is the edge of Casada now. Yeah. This bit here. Now, Casada's made up, and I'm hoping the camera pictures up, of loads of little areas like Donya Pepper, Low Marabou. Else, no, but it, it was part of the Harleys, but it's not now. It's now got its own town hall and its own um, Ayuntamiento. Which is a town hall in Spanish. Uh, depending on when and where you look, inhabitants are in the region of around about between 13 and 16,000 people. But there's actually, I don't know how old this was. It's made up of 30,000 different properties. It is quite a big area. It covers a, a, a hill and it is quite hilly. Some of the streets are quite steep as well. Yeah, it goes up to uh, 300 foot above sea level, which is around about six or eight kilometres away from where Casada is. About 10 minutes. Yeah, some of them are a really good exercise walking up and down those hills. I mean, what you'll find is you've got all your supermarkets like right, we've got. Aldi, there's also little here, you've got... Everything's closed today though because it is the 1st of May and it's a big fiesta here in Spain. It's the day of the worker, so everywhere's closed. <laughs> it's the day of the worker and none of them are. Yeah, as if we've not had enough time off over last year. Yeah, so you've got the food cover on the right hand side which is uh, basically Tesco, for want of a better word. You've got Consum. Um, there's a constant here, but there's also a constant up the lemon tree road as well. And there's hotels here, bars, restaurants, everything you could need here. It's, it's popular with all nationalities, not just the Brits, the Spanish, not the Norwegians, the Scandinavians, the Belgians, the Dutch. There's even a Norwegian school here. There is a Norwegian there. school here, yes. Yeah. Just, this is new, Burger King. So for the few that have not managed to get out here for a while, you've got a Burger King now as well. Yep. And a Massey Mass. Uh, and the little, which is a uh, little just a bit further down where, which is now in Yeesk. I get to the church. There's go-karting, which is new, we passed it a bit further back. And this is a bit to show you where they actually have the unmarked car park in another place, with the speed camera. And you'll actually see that over in the distance, so if you look over that way, over there, is the motorway, the AP7. Do you want me to go through Archers? Yeah, let's go through Archers. Really the, good fish and, ship, uh, fish and chip shop here. It's hard to fish and chips. Yeah, and there's also an aqua park here as well. Yeah. Which is open on the bank. It's one of the oldest aqua parks actually. It was here when, when I first started coming out of Spain, which is a lot of years ago, or first started coming to this part of Spain. Uh, that aqua park was there, and then they built Casada around it. So we lost it for a few years. Didn't yeah, it know was, where it had gone to. Yeah, this was, um, Started, Casada was started, and these are the archers. These are quite famous, these archers. Yeah, that's a new supermarket. Loads of different services and things like that here in Casada. Now, what we'll do is we're going to just walk up the high street in Casada, tell you what you see, let you guys have a look, see if it's changed since you were last here, if you've been here at all. We've had quite a lot of people this last week or so commenting on the vlogs saying about Casada, can you do Casada? Uh, and actually we've had people going back a few months that said the same thing haven't we? Yeah. So just bear in mind today Saturday afternoon it's a bank holiday and you'll see how empty it is. The, yeah. the high street's really not busy at all is it? I mean a lot of the shops and things will be closed anyway because it's a bank holiday yeah, but, but think there'd be people the bar, yeah. Yeah. that's what you'd expect. So let's take you Take you up the high street and have a look. So you can get money exchange here as well. We got uh, things such as 
chemist up there and then just off to the right there's some more shops and restaurants Businesses such as insurance brokers, that sort of thing. Mr. Singh, don't know. Have you been in? Ah. Ah. Yeah, lots and lots of communions were cancelled because of COVID, but they are starting to have these sort of celebrations again now. So you have old Don Carlos, Don Carlos, and yeah. this. Is it the Don Carlos there where you've got a beer pump on the table inside and you put your own I'm not, I'm not sure. There's a little Don Carlos somewhere as well. Is that the one down there? Yeah. Now, Yoku is one at Playa Flamenca, Punta Prima. It used to be called Roku. Still family's into it, this is quite good. Yeah. Is that what's inside here? Yeah. So, this is one of the relatively new commercial centres here on the high street. I've never been in it, never seen it, I don't know what's here. Not much there, like. Not much that's open. Don't feel like. Yeah. So I think there might be some more shops possibly inside, yeah. it's saying inside the boulevard, but it gives you an idea of how things have changed. We nearly had that as well, didn't we? And the one down here that's yeah. the honey. So there's obviously car parking. More bars, etc. upstairs. There's another one to sell service there. I don't think we need to go much further than this, do we? No. Besides that, how long is this going to be done soon? Yeah. Ah, oh, my cutters, the there's a sample there, they do cream teas. Ah, right, yeah. High tea room and more. Yeah. I've oh, heard, good, I've heard good things about them. The new Del Deer? Yeah. Bombay Grill. Indian, Italian and Mexican cuisine reminds me of uh, the chef. Yeah. I think that'll do as well. Yeah. Because we've got the side. Yeah. Right, we're walking back down Casada High Street and I'll show you some more bits and pieces. So I do believe that that's the town hall. Yeah, I think so taxi rank and you've got the kids play area there's some restaurants some bars and restaurants up that way as well and if you go up that way and around that'll get you up towards the aqua park now if you ever see these and there's one called Mingo as well which you'll have seen near the office uh, and yeah near the office they're actually it's like gambling bars but they're not they'll do They'll do coffee and drinks and things like that. Cheap drinks as well. Yeah, like a pint for a euro and a gin and tonic for a euro. It's to get you gambling though. Now, here's another thing. Somebody asked about transferring money in that lot. Send us your details via email and we'll put you in touch with two companies that we use. This is one of them. We got on really well, so we can get a really good relationship with those and the other one's foreign currencies direct. Yeah, and you'll get a really good, um, but you get a much more preferential exchange rate if you use a company like that rather than doing it direct from bank to bank. And we, we can introduce you to them, no problem. And, you know, if they weren't any good, I mean, I use them myself fairly regularly.
Unfortunately, oh, to be fair, I mean, we need to try some of them, but we tend to just go in here, stay in here, that's it. But we need to, uh, we like trying new places, don't we? We do, yeah. Yeah, so send your suggestions, you, you lot from Casada. Yeah. I don't get if you've got photos, if you go out somewhere, somebody did last night, uh, the place looks stonking, Helen's already added it to the list that we want to get there, it's uh, I'll go for Stroke La Finca, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, somebody shared on the Eating Out uh, Costa Blanca South, so thanks it, for that. That's Olivio's or something like uh, that. Olivio's, yeah, something like that. Looks. It looks beautiful. And it looks really good value as well. So. Yeah, we'll be doing that one definitely. That was yesterday's exchange rate. And you can see these banks and everything else. So there's a around the back of here as well. These are English butchers and a yeah. few other places it's around there. Shop shop. Your mum used to go there a lot. Did, yeah. What did she get from there? Just with the burgers. That was it. But they make pies and all sorts of things. Might be a little bit wobbly because I've got the zoom in there. Look at that. Definitely around my case of golf, it's on our left now. That's it, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you've liked it. Uh, don't forget to leave us comments. We like comments. We always try and respond Just to all of them. Leave negative ones. Yeah. Don't worry if you, you're not gonna hurt our feelings. Yeah, don't forget to uh, subscribe. And if you ring that bell, as soon as we activate or launch a, a new video, it'll give you a notification. Okay, great. Hasta pronto. Hasta pronto.